Hi, my foodie friends, and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Karen. So today, I'm super excited to try my very first Greek recipe. We are gonna be making chicken souvlaki in a pita. Now, I got the inspiration for this from my good friends, Sue and George, over at their channel called Cyprus Insight. It is a travel channel about the island of Cyprus. Um, and I did not know this, but Cyprus is not part of Greece. It's its own nas national country. It's about 600 miles from Greece, and although they do eat Greek food. And so she gave me some authentic recipes to make for you guys. And when we're done today, I want you to head on over to their channel and check them out because it's like going on a vacation without leaving your house. So this is gonna be really easy, even though it has quite a few ingredients, it'll come together pretty quickly. So let's get cooking. The first thing we're gonna do is make a little marinade for our cubed chicken. You're gonna need one large lemon and squeeze out the juice. Now I like to put my hand over the lemon so it catches the seeds. This is a Meyer lemon that my friend gave me from his tree. Look how much juice is in there. Now I'm gonna use a half a tablespoon of this all-purpose Greek seasoning. It's mostly salt, but it has a few herbs in it. If you can't find it, you can just use regular salt, but this gives it a great flavor. Three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. garlic cloves that I've chopped. Now we're going to give this a nice whisk. And I almost forgot the most important thing. One tablespoon of dried oregano. Now we're going to set this aside and start cutting up our chicken. You're going to need approximately two pounds of chicken breast. And we are just going to cut these up into one inch cubes. Okay, we have all our chicken cubed up and in a bowl. And now I'm gonna put the marinade inside. And with my clean hands, I'm going in here to give it a good mix. Now I apologize you guys for my fingernails. My manicurist is very ill and she can't do my nails. So I need, I'm need. i waiting on some nail polish remover to take it off. Now we need to let this marinate in the refrigerator for at least two hours, preferably overnight. If you do it the night before, it's gonna give it a lot more flavor, but even uh, at least two hours is gonna make it taste great. you guys. While our chicken is marinating, let's get started on our tzatziki sauce, which is a nice yogurt garlic sauce that's going to go on top of our chicken pita. Okay, we're going to need three-fourths of a cup of finely chopped English cucumber four medium cloves of garlic that I've finely chopped. Now, if you don't like this much garlic, you can just use uh, less garlic, but it's supposed to be garlicky. A half a teaspoon of our Greek seasoning salt. A quarter teaspoon of pepper. And 16 ounces of whole fat plain and I almost forgot to add one other ingredient, the dried dill. We're going to use a half a teaspoon. Now we're going to stick this in the fridge and let it chill until we're ready to assemble our pitas. Now 
Now about 30 minutes before you're gonna grill your chicken, you need to soak your skewers, because if you don't soak them, they're gonna catch on fire on the grill, and we don't want that. So just put them in some water for about 30 minutes. So I've had my chicken marinating, marinating for four hours, and I wish you guys could smell this. It is amazing. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it on our skewers. And now when you're putting them on the skewers, don't put them too close together. I mean, you can put them together, but just don't smash them together like that. Give them a tiny bit of room like that. Okay, we have them all on the skewers. Now let's go out to the grill. Okay, everybody, our chicken's been grilling for about 15 minutes, and look at this. And now I'm just gonna add a squeeze of fresh lemon. Now you could totally eat it just like this over some rice, but we're gonna put it in a pita. Okay, I warmed my pita up, and we're just gonna assemble this now. We're gonna put some of the chicken on top. And now we're gonna spoon over some of our tzatziki sauce. little bit of shredded lettuce, some of our thinly sliced tomato, and a few slices of onion. Now I'm just going to fold this over, and because <laughs> I stuffed it a little too much, we are going to wrap it in this foil just like they do. And there we have it our chicken souvlaki wrapped in a pita. And now I'm gonna show you how I serve it. Okay guys, so what do you think? Doesn't this look amazing? The smell, oh, I wish you could be here. But you can make it at home so you'll know what it smells like. Okay, you know what time it is. It's time for me to give it a try. This is gonna be a little bit messy, so I apologize. The sauce totally makes it. You can taste the garlic and you get the tang from the yogurt and you taste the dill, but then you get the really fresh flavor of the lemon and the oregano in the chicken. You guys, it is so good, you have to try it. And now the traditional way, according to my friend Sue, is to serve it with french fries and you can also serve it with a little greek salad with cucumbers and olives and tomatoes but i didn't do that today so i hope you guys are going to give this a try and as soon as you're done watching this i want you to go over to cypress insight and look at their channel and subscribe they i really want to get them to 500 subscribers i think they're at 425 now so I know we can do this. They already they're already have their watch hours. They just need subscribers. So I wanna thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, I'd sure appreciate it. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye everybody. Oh yes, we can see the garden area anyway. It looks very pleasant, there's a little chapel there we are. I suspect that's where all the people, if they want to get married, would get married.